continue with uh, my main character, see if we can finish it up with that. And then kind of go from there. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take us. Let's see. Okay, so this auto save was from last night. Yeah. So I'm going to want to load into this one right here. Right? 56, 29. Okay. Yeah, they're about the same times. Uh, so what we had to do was go to the Hoon homestead. Uh, that's where Angela Death, I think her name is, is going to meet us. So we're meeting up with her um, to talk about whatever she wants to talk about. And then kind of go from there and see what's going to happen. I am very much looking forward to tonight though. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a ride and an experience. Ah, uh, dude, I'm so nervous for being an imposter. I feel like whoever my teammate is, for me being an imposter, I'm gonna be so bad at it. I'm gonna be like, dude, I, it's gonna be my first game, so I don't know what's gonna be what. But then also I feel like I'm gonna be a horrible crewmate too, because I don't know what's what either. So it's all going to be a learning experience for me. <laughs> I've been watching people play, but not to the point where like I can analyze and be like, oh, I think this person's an imposter. But we'll see. But not without help from you. If you would protect that flame, tend it, and keep it burning strong. Then join the Colorado Marshals, the defenders of all our freedoms. Visit your local Marshal station today and ask them what it takes to join and make me proud. All right, so we're Angela Death at the Hoon Homestead. Here we go. Many ranger badges are more than a century old, passed from one generation of rangers to the next. Oh, really? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I looked it up. There's only about four four or five missions left. Now, some of them could be really long ones. Some of them might not be, not 100% sure, but my goal is to hopefully finish this up today. Um, with the time that I have, we have about five hours or so, because I, I think I'm gonna take a break later on today before we uh, start. Oh God, don't walk onto the mine. <laughs> um. God, don't walk onto it. Oh wait, that's not a mine. Uh, but yeah, so later on today, I'm gonna see, probably take a break before we uh, officially start Among Us. Uh, let me see, I guess we'll save on, save on this one. death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here and you haven't brought along any unexpected guests can't be too careful these days glad we have an understand well looks like everyone's here who's supposed to be here so I'll give her a ring one all clear come ahead <clears throat> hey now cowboys whoa face to face at last and just as handsome as I thought you'd be Oh. Remember when you chose to follow the Patriarch's orders instead of saving those folks Erastus threatened to slaughter? 
I figured we'd meet here so you could see what was left of him. I know uh, Woodson told sense. you to do Buchanan's bidding, but to my mind, it ain't the ranger way to help the powerful ahead of the helpless. Because things like this happen. Mm. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. Mm -hmm. It's like your facial scar makes it difficult to open your mouth. You must be in constant pain. <laughs> Would you like some meds? <laughs> I noticed that saying that to somebody every single time is not the best thing. Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now, what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked? I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. And second, Whoa. Scar collectors. Well, well, speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue. Oh boy. I can't see them. Quit. Alright, friendly turn. <laughs> I love how we just see the weapons. It's still Pete. Go, party pal, go. Nice. Some good chunk of uh, damage there. Let's move up. Why can't I see anybody? There we go. Now I can at least see. My chicken. Still have Axel, jeez. Nice. <laughs> and Lucia, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna put her right here and just put her into uh, ambush. Dead to nice. You will not escape. Holy crap. Dude, I wasn't expecting them to all get stunned like that. Fuck the God protect me. <laughs> Guns ready.
Nice. Why can't I see them? It's so dark. The one thing with getting rid of the professor is his coordination was like basically maxed out and hers not so much. That kind of sucks. I think this guy is the last one, so there it is. These combats are killing me. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Second, and you're gonna love this. The Patriarch's gotta go, too. Our orders were to help the Patriarch so that he helps Arizona. Killing him kills the folks back home. How can he ask us? Without the Patri Patriarch, Colorado will fall into anarchy. We know the Pat no Angel, but Colorado is surrounded by enemies. He has to make some hard choices to keep it safe. Hard choices? You mean like choosing to let his marshal shake down folks in the street? Or choosing to let petty criminals freeze to death in his pillories? No. I mean, I it's not perfect. War with the Plains gangs, right? No, he made deals with them. Sends them weapons and supplies as long as they raid settlements outside Colorado. Ain't that neighborly? <sighs> Sorry, just riles me up. What we want is to get rid of the Buchanans altogether, with us helping to mitigate the chaos that comes after, and give Colorado a chance to live under some honest-to-God rule of law for a change. So basically, they would and be taking that, his we need place. Your help. Oh, thanks for hearing me out. Uh, let's talk about Liberty first. I've got to hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. <sighs> well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice, and their houses and towns burned to the ground. None of us want that, right? Why wouldn't we work with the Patriarch to stop Liberty? Oh, I don't mind about that. So long as you change your mind about him after. So. Right. We don't want Colorado to end like that. We don't give a shit about what happens. Glad to hear it. <laughs> so here's the plan. Part one. Help Ironclad Cordite take control of Liberty's gangs. Then, part two. Let him lead them all off to Kansas, where he can achieve his blood-soaked destiny without getting any on us. What? That's the same thing that Patriarch Hold wants. Your horses, ma'am. Didn't you just yeah. accuse the Patriarch of doing the same thing? Paying the gangs to go east so somebody else has to deal with their depredations? Literally. I... Yeah, I guess I did. No, it's literally but the it's same not exact quite thing. The same. Literally the same. No? Then you must explain it, for it seems precisely the same to me. Well, for one thing, we ain't paying the man. We ain't actively funding murder the way old Saul is. And second, despite Cordite's destiny, my guess is he goes back to Kansas and him and his rivals all wipe each other out, leaving the whole territory a more peaceful place. I know you've got him on ice back at Ranger HQ. Well, 
It's time to dust him off and put him to good use. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Who are these people Pete with and brother you? brother Thomas came back with me from L.A. and Tax from Arizona. These others are local... <sighs> now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty, my team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him... Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. Mm. For instance, we don't want the gangs coming to the party. If Cordite wants to come along and get his revenge on the Patriarch, fine. But he leaves his army at home, no matter how tight a hold he thinks he's got on him. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. True. Well, we know why she doesn't want to do it herself. What happens to Colorado after you take down the, the Patriarch? Peace. Keep things fair. I don't see the Rangers running things. I see our job as keeping the playing field even. There's always a lot of weasels that come out of the woodwork after a big man falls, trying to grab a piece of the pie. So we're just gonna hang around, and every time a weasel pops their head up, we'll whack them. At the same time, whenever somebody comes along who tries to take care of the people, all the people, we'll help them out. But we ain't gonna be anybody's muscle. We'll answer to the people, nobody else. So it'll be referees. Nice. Sounds kind of idealist. You think it's really going to no work? No idea. Nobody's tried it before, as far as I know. But it's worth a shot, right? Can't be worse than the way things are now. Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spot. If we show up, our plan is... All right, then. What's it gonna be? We're not buying it. Your plan sounds destined to fail, and a lot of people could be hurt if it does. Thanks for info, but we're still siding with the Patriarch, like the Ranger Command told us to. You're wrecking everything the Ranger Command has been put working towards for the sake of Arizona. We're putting you down. We're in the Patriarch. Oh, man. I really have to decide right now. I mean, like, it sounds good and all, but, like, the Patriarch. Not the best. But, like, things work. And it's better than, like, just free reign of everything. And we are coming from Ranger Command, so... I don't know, man. I mean, his kids need to be stopped. I don't know if he really does. Land sounds destined to fail on a lot of people. More than are being hurt now? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna give you Liberty's location anyway. No matter what future we want, she's got to be stopped, right? True. All I ask is, when you're finally standing face to face with her, please at least consider dealing with her our way and put a bullet between her eyes. Everything else we talked about? Well, let your conscience be your guide. Good luck, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. Okay, nice. So at least we, we have the option of, like... If we want to change our mind or some crazy thing pops up and we like catch the dude doing some like really bad stuff, at least we we can change our mind. But everything I've seen of the Patriarch, I I mean, as as bad as the situation is, I don't know if he deserves to be like just completely taken down in free reign of everything.
Because how are you going to moderate that? You can't moderate the whole world. You can't moderate all of, like, Colorado. They're basically saying they're going to leave it up to the people to decide. And people already do horrible stuff. At least with the patriarch, there's some sort of... Uh... Some sort of structure. Might not be perfect, but it's something. Team November, this is Ranger HQ. The Brainiacs in R&D just showed me some of the wild stuff they're done working on. You should come take a look when you're free. Over and out. Mm -hmm. Oh, he says that. Go to Yuma County and capture or kill Liberty Buchanan. Alright, let me do a quick save here. Time to make our way down there. Yes, we can go to the right here. Traveling the world map really isn't that bad. At least I don't feel like it is. Get the drop on the scar by using this hundred up against them. Defend yourself. Chance you could escape if you run from the Kodak and floor it. Uh oh, oh, nice. Bison Ranch. Uh oh. We're starting to take damage. Ah! MK1 calling AZ November. Come in November. Do you read me? I wouldn't say that name out here. When you get to where you're going. Gas up at the garage first. I'll find I'll contact you. MK1 out. Oh no. Oh my god. We just made it. Holy crap, dude. Oh god. Everyone's down though. Yuma County Speedway. Well, now we know that we need that, uh, <laughs> that rank three of the, the stuff. The Godfishers read the clouds and the weather for signs of things yet to come. Man, <laughs> we got injured so much right there. Jeez, we need level three of radiation protection now, for sure. Luckily, I have plenty of like uh, revive kits and nitro stuff. But jeez, so I wonder what happens when we load in here. Like, are they gonna be downed on the ground, and then I just need to pick them up one by one?
<laughs> they are. Good. Come into the garage ASAP. <laughs> oh god. Oh wait, everybody's up. You're the Desert Rangers, right? The ones the patriarch made a deal with? Hey, good to see you. Been hoping you'd show up. Patriarch's got a lot he wants done here, and we ain't got a lot of time. Liberty Buchanan is sitting not 200 yards from here in her compound as we speak. But the way things stand, it would take a tactical nuke to crowbar her out. She's managed to make herself the queen of these heathens, the scar collectors, the payassos, and the last few Dorseys. <laughs> Even the god... Now, there ain't no way even a crew as tough as you could fight their way in and bring her out alive like the Patriarch wants. But I got a plan. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who are Nobody you? Nobody told you about me. I'm the mechanic. That means I fix things, right? For the gangs, it's cars, and they trust me because I fix them good. But my real job is fixing things for the Patriarch. Like putting sand in the gas tank of Liberty's coop. That's why he sent me out here. You get it? Can we get down to business now? <laughs> How do you think I gained her trust? Damn right I am. Satisfied? Sure, if you're, if you're such a fixer, what do you need for a mosque? Glad to know you're here. We can use all the help we can well, get. Well, that's me. I'm here to give you the info you need to succeed. I'll be behind you the whole way. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. The gangs may be loyal to Liberty, but they hate each other's guts. And all you need to do is get each gang thinking the others are screwing them somehow, and this place will go up like an ammo dump in a firestorm. Okay. The payasos and the godfishers are ready to go at each other's throats. They just need a little nudge. What I do is talk to their slaves. They've always got dirt on all the infighting. I got a key to the pen they're kept in as a, huh, a gift. Take it. See what you can find. Maybe I can give you the broad strokes. But the, the boss right now is the, the head clown. So their leader, Star That Dreams. You're gonna have to fight the Dorseys, no matter, just outside the main compound. But use my key. Good. And listen, if you need any ammo, weapons, or supplies, ho, 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 just like Christmas. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Healing bonus, 35%. Jeez. You t uh, require cyborg tech? Utility. Whoa. Damn, that's an expensive gun. No calm assault rifle. Holy crap, dude. Look at these weapons, though. Jeez. Are we good on ammo? They're all at one. <laughs> That's good. Five five six is kind of getting there, so I could buy some more. Seven six two is we're fine on seven six two. Uh, I'll buy some five five six. Energy's good. That's good. Do we have fifty? That's 50 right there. Uh, I think we're good on that too. Oh, honestly, selling some of these guns will give me enough to, to 
buy one of the other ones that I want. And, uh, where? Damn it, switched out the people again. Pick up that gun. Uh, Axel. Oh yeah, we can sell junk too. Ah, there we go. Even better. All right, so revolver 193 to 200. Uh, what about this energy? All right, let me check my people real quick. Forty-four. To that okay uh hers is 130 his is 28 hers is 54 okay i'm gonna heal up everybody in a second here too oh uh, you're making progress they're pretty Rangers. damaged <laughs> patriarch ain't paying us to sit around here you go all right so throw me the throw me this revolver did he have no he didn't have any consumables okay back to the guns i could throw this uh this gun on the girl that i have but i don't know there are any other submachine guns? Nah, just this guy. I'll take it though. Alright. Do I have a med station? That's the first question. I do not. Try using these darts. Back from the dead and better than ever. I feel refreshed. Started with nothing. Still got it. So one injury kit, two, I feel three. Refreshed. Okay. One on you. Wait, really? Oh. Uh, Use one on myself. And heal. Juan needs some healing still. Need another injury kit. All 
No Glow or Doctor NPC? Let's see if we have those. No Glow, right here. Use item on sell. There we go. All right, now let's see what we got here. Uh, Axel, I'm gonna give her some skill point every two intelligence. Give her some luck. I'm gonna wait until she has lock picking 10 for that. Mechanics, deployable is gain that. Yeah, sure. We might start using these deployables a lot. We got four points. I'm gonna wait to get kiss ass to 10. That's good. And I'll wait on those points too. One. Let's get your intelligence up. Skills. I'm gonna wait to upgrade these to, to 10. Perks. Same thing. I'll wait. Oh, she's still injured. Wait, really? It says I have the med kits equipped. Oh wait, no, I just have two injury kits. That's why. And dart. Okay. Okay. Cool. Manage squad. I don't know why these keep swapping. And save game real quick. Alright, and before we continue, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, so I'll take like two seconds.